One of your employees has just clicked on a malicious link and called you to share that their computer is displaying a message that demands payment to unlock the computer. First, understand that your employee is likely embarrassed and afraid. Therefore, it's important to acknowledge the seriousness of the situation without shaming the employee or causing panic. The employee should immediately disconnect from your business network and share details around the incidents. What kind of message is it? When did the employee receive it? Have other employees received it? As you build your understanding of what led to the incident and how much of the organization is affected, also ask yourself the following questions. Do we have an incidents response plan or IRP? Do we back up our data? Are our backups current? If you can answer yes to all of these questions, you're in great shape to respond effectively to this incident. Simply review your IRP and follow the steps you've laid out within it. If you have current backups, work with your IT staff or contact your third-party provider to upload your backups. Once your backups are uploaded, you should be able to resume business operations. However, if you answer no to those questions, then you have a few more steps you want to take immediately. Again, make sure to remove the employee's device from the network as soon as possible. If you have skilled IT staff, they should be involved as soon as possible in your response activities. If you use a third-party security service, contact the organization as soon as possible, as they are experienced in managing these activities. Here are some of the questions the organization will ask. When did the incident occur? Who was affected? What is the technical nature of the incident? Or how did the incident occur? Who knows about the incident? And finally, is the problem still ongoing? You will work with this third-party organization throughout your response and recovery. However, once your business operations are back online, make sure to work with your IT staff and or your third-party provider to develop an incidents response plan that incorporates the lessons you learned during this incident. Also, work with your employee training team to ensure that they incorporate those lessons into your security training. Finally, work with the other leaders in your organization to plan and conduct a meeting where you practice for a future incident. This practice meeting will ensure you're better prepared if another incident were to occur. Cyber incidences can be nerve-wracking and confusing experiences, but with a little preparation, employees will be able to respond to incidents with a plan to best reduce the damage of an attack.